माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय सर डॉक्टर कमलजीत सिंह फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स के आर एम डी ए वी कॉलेज नकोदर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर लेक्चर ऑन द टॉपिक कोरिलेशन एंड रिग्रेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस स्टडी वट इज कोरिलेशन द टेक्निक ऑफ कोरिलेशन इज नॉट एसोसिएशन बट इट इज अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू और मोर देन टू वेरिएबल्स वेन वी से एसोसिएशन इट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू और मोर देन टू एट्रीब्यूट क्वालिटीज सो इन कोरिलेशन वी आर कंसर्न पर्टिकुलरली विद वेरिएबल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट अस टेक दैट इफ प्राइस राइजेस डिमांड विल फॉल तो प्राइस एंड डिमांड आर कोरिलेटेड Similarly, if price rises, supply will rise. Again, price and supply are correlated. We can say these variables they have correlation. What is the degree of correlation? Next point comes. Now, degree of correlation varies from minus one to plus one. Correlation can be zero, can be point five, can be minus point five, can be one. If it is one, we say it is perfect. positive correlation if it is minus 1 we say it is perfect negative correlation if it is zero we say there is no correlation similarly if correlation is near 0.5 we say it is high positive correlation if it is below 0.25 and in between 0 and 0.25 you can say it is called low positive correlation similarly there may be moderate positive correlation moderate negative correlation high negative correlation when we say 0.9 in minus similarly when it is minus 0.2 we say it is low negative correlation now what is the study what is the purpose of studying this technique of correlation in economics particularly because in economics we have so many variables and we try to find relationship between those two variable for example if uh, there is rise in money supply in the economy what will be the impact what will be the effect on price level similarly we can say if uh, income rises what will be the impact on consumption so income and consumption income and consumption they are correlated and next point comes if we have to study the relationship between variables in economics then what are the types of correlation there are so many types of correlation particularly we say positive and negative correlation if variable move in the same direction we say it is positive correlation for example if income rises consumption rises if income falls consumption falls this is positive correlation on the other hand if one variable rises and another falls it is negative correlation for example we say if price rises then demand will fall on the other hand sometimes we say that correlation can be linear or non linear or curvy linear linear correlation means when x and y variable they have proportionate relationship for example if 10% x variable changes y also changes by 10% so relationship is linear we say it is linear correlation when you plot this correlation data on graph paper you will get a straight line for example we say y is equal to a plus bx the straight line linear relation on the opposite if uh, x and y they are related in such a way that uh, there is non proportional relationship for example x rises by 10% and y falls by 5% x rises by 20% and y falls by 50% it is non linear or curvy linear correlation sometimes economists also deal with the other types of correlation for example it may be simple it may be multiple it may be partial when we study relationship between just two variables x and y we say it is a simple correlation on the other hand if the variable number is more than 2 for example there are three variable or four variable it is called case of partial or multiple correlation in case of partial correlation particularly we study variables by ignoring some other variable let us take very good example for example uh, output of wheat suppose it depends on so many factors for example irrigation temperature then seed 
fertilizer. So there are three or four more than that variable. If we study relationship between output, fertilizer and irrigation, ignoring temperature, this is case of the partial correlation. On the other hand, if we study all variables relationship together, but number of variables should be more than two, it is called case of a multiple correlation. Now I come to the methods by which we can measure correlation. Correlation can be measured by different methods. For example, we have one simple method called dot diagram method or scatter diagram method. In this method, we plot various values of x and y on a diagram on a picture paper. And if we get all dots in a straight line raising upward, having trend upward, we say it is a perfect positive correlation. If dots, they are spreading, they are not in straight line, they are moving upward, but they are spreading, but they are close to each other, we say it is high positive correlation. If they are spreading, but they are not close and rising upward, we say it is low positive correlation. Similarly, if we are not forming, dots are not forming any particular shape, then we say it is zero correlation. If dots are trending towards downward trend, have, having downward trend, we say it is a negative correlation. So we can find the degree of correlation with the help of dots and their directions. Second is of a graphic method. In this method, we plot x and y variable on a graph and from the direction we can judge whether two correlation is positive or negative. If x and y both are moving upward, it is positive. If both are moving downward, it is again positive. It means direction is same, it is positive. But if x is rising upward and y is moving downward, it is called negative correlation. Now third, which is quantitative method. In terms of figures, Carl Pearson he developed this method. We also say that it is Carl Pearsonian correlation coefficient, or sometimes it is called product moment method. In this method, we take deviation from actual arithmetic mean of x and y. Then we take the product of these deviations and take its sum. It is called sigma small x y. We divide this fact with the help of sigma small x square and sigma small y square its product under root. That is correlation coefficient can be measured in terms of Carl Pearson's correlation. Another method is Spearman's correlation. We will take its practical in another lecture that is on with the help of blackboard and everything like that we will sort some practicals also. So when we say Spearman's correlation it is called rank correlation coefficient. When there is case of qualities, for example, we want to see the correlation between income and urban area, rural area, that is locality and income, we find the correlation coefficient in terms of rank correlation and not in terms of Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation. In this case, for example, main content is quality, attribute. For example, suppose there are beauty contest and uh, we want, want to find which of the two judges have close uh, judgment, then we use this call, this square mass correlation coefficient. Third method is concurrent division method, in which we find the currents moving in terms of mathematics, that is plus and minus. So these are different methods by which we can study correlation. The point to be noted is that correlation technique tells us relationship between two or more than two variable, but it does not contain it does not predict any of the variable in terms of a given one variable. This task is completed by regression. So that is why from correlation we can judge relationship but not the cause of relationship. If we want to say what is the cause of relationship, whether x is the causing factor maintaining relationship with y or y is the causing factor maintaining relationship with x, then we study regression technique. So regression studies the value of the value of variable when the value of independent variable is given. So we are to predict, we are to forecast the value of dependent variable and we are given the value of independent variable. So in correlation, we never study cause and effect relationship, but in regression, we study cause and effect relationship. Secondly, Correlation coefficient when we say it remains within two limits that is plus minus one. 
But regression coefficient, there are two regression coefficients b x y showing dependence of x on y and b y x showing dependence of y on x. These two regression coefficients they can have more than one value. But point to be noted is that if one of these two is more than one, then another will be less than one. Why? The cause that the metric mean of these two regression coefficients is correlation coefficient. If one of these two values is more than one, then correlation will exceed one, which is not uh, possible actually. So in terms of uh, these values, in, in terms of these uh, relationships, we can say that regression is much more better than uh, correlation technique. In regression, we have one further uh, big use, that is, it explains uh, why the relation has occurred, why it has taken place. In, even in regression, we can face so many other variables in terms of multiple regression, multiple partial regression and all these variables, they will be showing much more information, much more interpretation than the correlation. Similarly, when we go in for regression analysis, we study it in various other fields of econometrics. So correlation regression techniques, they are very important. But these two relation techniques, they are different in the sense that regression is more important than correlation. Regression is used in search, in prediction and so many other fields of economics and other sectors of the economy. Now, next point is when we study regression, regression is studied with the help of one very, very important method that is least square method. The error, that is the difference between actual value of a variable and its estimated value, that is error. Errors scare, sum of scare is reduced. That is, but that, that is why it is called least scare method. So this scare should be least, it should be minimized because we want to have good prediction. We want to have the accurate estimation. In statistics, no doubt 100% accurate estimation is not possible, but the precision degree should be maximized, the accuracy degree should be maximized, and this is, this is what we want to have in this technique. Thank you.